I'll keep an eye out for the male. Keep going up a bit, up, up. Oh, you, oh, you've probably the light. Mm. Let me move it. Thank you. Oh, oh you <laughs> irritating bird. There's the male. Straight in front of us. Can you see it there? Just in amongst the bushes there. If you zoom, yeah, if you zoom in straight there. <sighs> up a bit. Yeah, oh, no, just right to the back. It's still there. Just see it moving where the green starts. But now I can't see the screen because <laughs> the light's on it. It's in there, yeah. Just there, you can hear it. I can't see him anymore. Oh, he's gone. To the, you, he's gone to the same place that the female was just oh, when yeah, we yeah, saw yeah, her. Yeah. There we go. Uh -huh. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's wonderful. Isn't that great? Violet, you say are these woodpeckers closely related to the ones that you have in the US? And the answer, Violet, is yes, they are. But you have a greater diversity of them there in the US. You know, we apparently have got a fairly poor diversity, and ours are much smaller. Look at him picking away. That's, That's wonderful to see. <laughs> this is the biggest one we get here, and so nothing like the size of some of the U.S. woodpeckers that you get, but they are related. Same mechanism of drilling away the bark and drilling into wood. Same way that the tongue is attached to the way at the back of the skull, and same way, of course, that the brain is protected by uh, that spongy material and also you can see very nicely there the way his tail is bracing him. Ah, oh, this is just brilliant. Of course, you know, as I've said to you before, there he goes. No, he's gone. That was wonderful. It were you and I to sort of attach a traffic cone to the front of our faces and bash our heads against something like that, we'd very, very quickly become fairly concussed. That was beautiful, fantastic sighting of a bearded woodpecker, well worth the uh, trauma of searching for it. We'll continue our little exploration here. Of